Sketching Lesson 1. Uh, because of the recent crisis, we're going to start off with toilet rolls. Okay, so first of all, position them in an interesting manner. Try and do it so that they, there, it shows some depth. Okay, this is what we're going to call composition, which is a posh way of saying layout. Right. When we start, make sure we have a sharp pencil. Okay. Now, the object we're drawing is very white, so uh, it's quite hard to see. It doesn't show up too well on the video, but amazingly, it does show up my grey hair. Anyway, sketching lightly first. Try and make sure any upright lines are parallel with the edge of the paper and slowly add detail. I'm trying to sketch this without using a rubber so I'm drawing lightly to start off with and then uh, adding the dark shade later. As you can see I've just started with the center of the rolls there making it a little bit darker just to allow you to see what's going on a little bit more. I'm doing a bit of cross hat shading on the side now. You can, if you wish, do a tiny bit of smudging here, but uh, as everyone knows, I hate smudging. So if you do that, only do a little bit. Adding slightly more detail, working slowly. So start off light and then we can add the detail in later. I have speeded the video up, so I'm not actually sketching this quick in real life. This sketch should take about 20 minutes, which is about the same length of time as a your 789 homework. Okay? It's very important to keep looking at what you're drawing. You can see I keep lifting my head all the time to look at the toilet rolls. It's very, very important. If you're in the classroom now, I keep saying look, look, draw. So you need to look twice as much as you draw. So this is the basis of observational drawing. The crucial word there being observational. Up to now, I'm just shading a little bit of detail in there to try and avoid using an eraser, as I did say. I don't like using erasers when we're doing sketching. Pupils spend far too much time rubbing out rather than working over the top. It's important to remember that toilet rolls don't have a black line around them, which is why at the moment you can see I was just trying to put a little bit of background tone in to show the shape of the toilet roll without putting a thick black line around the outside. Don't worry about silly mistakes. Try and draw or sketch with confidence. If you make a mistake, who cares? Doesn't matter. Just go with it. It's better to finish one drawing than to never get it finished because you're constantly rubbing out with the eraser. Now I'm using a 2B pencil here, but a HB pencil is fine. The reason I'm using a slightly darker pencil is to try and help it show on the video. But you don't need anything special to do this. 
It's an A4 piece of paper and a pencil. Try and shade from dark to light. So again, the shading has no line around it. It becomes a tonal drawing. Remember, keep your pencil sharp. That's very important. You can't draw with a blunt pencil. It's quite hard for me here because I would normally keep twisting the tape, the paper, to put shading on because I, uh, I shade best one way up. But because I'm videoing it, I'm not moving the paper, so it's all a little bit alien. And so is uh, knowing that you're being videoed. I'm looking at the toilet rolls from a slightly different angle to the camera, which is why my picture isn't the same as you're looking at through the lens of the camera. Don't forget the pencil in your mouth, which I seem to have at the moment. It's important to remember if you enjoy sketching and drawing, the drawings will be better. Don't see this as work. This is hopefully the first of a series of videos I'm going to make whilst the school is shut. Adding the edge of the paper, which is very uneven. You'll notice that I often draw or sketch using the edge of the pencil, not the tip. Starting off the background again, try and make the rolls stand out as they are white. the next video I'm going to choose something that's not white and it'll be a little bit easier. Can you add your name to your work and your year and then if you photograph it and forward the image to me I know who sent it when I'm marking it. Remember to save the work so that when this crisis is over, we can add them to your sketchbook. Just putting the finishing touches on there to what is essentially a very quick sketch of some toilet roll. Hope you found is helpful and good luck with sketching. And I finished. Going to end today 
with a picture called The Mud Bath by David Bomberg. It was uh, painted oil on canvas in 1914.